So he fidgeted. So he. This cat. Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Yamak, and my guest, Kim Cheshire. Hi. We're looking at the week of December the 14th to the 20th of 2020. The week starts with a new moon. You know, new moons, new beginnings. It's a bit broad. Interesting thing about this moon is, because normally, energetically speaking, we really oftentimes talk only about the full moons because they come with all sorts of information and their own energy. And the new moon, is at least the one on the 14th, really just denotes that um, there is a push from the get-go um, to look into new beginnings and this will probably be explored when we go to the star signs. The interesting thing about this new moon on the 14th of December is that it starts at 4.16 p.m. And when you look at 4, 1, 6, 4 and 1 is 5, the 6 is 11, it's a master number. Which means that energetically speaking, even though the moon energy might not tell us much, because it is a master number, therefore it denotes when changes are coming, whatever changes are coming for the star signs, um, it is the week where you can trust to do these changes because you have a master number, which means this is where the shift, should there be a shift depending on the star sign, is really happening. So that's the first positive thing we actually got. And now let's look at the overall energy for the week ahead before we go into the first star sign and we're still in the star sign of Sagittarius. Let's have a look at um, the overall energy for the week. Okay, we have the fish and the rum. What the guides are saying is, this is a week for all of us, right? For everybody who's watching depend, uh, independent uh, or regardless of your star sign. This is a week where arguing will not get you anywhere. This is a week where we're being told to make sure we have enough space, right? Just to reflect on things. That doesn't mean it's not going to be a week where you can be feisty. But because we talked about changes, this is not the week, the week for, for any of us to go in there all guns blazing, right? Because we have also have the rum, which is an animal that hangs on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. So the message is you pace yourself. When, you know, when people argue, um, truth needs no defense. Sometimes they just rant. And you just stand there and then you defend yourself for absolutely nothing because you haven't done anything. It's all their opinion. So what I'm getting is for you to say like, no, I'm not going to go into that energy, right? And I will be fine. It's important because like I said, the rum hangs on, on the cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. What they're saying is you paste yourself. You do not go into arguments, even though you will speak up depending on the star sign. Um, just don't go in. What I'm getting strongly is not to over defend yourself if that makes sense because people sometimes don't listen to listen they listen to respond and therefore it's important not to give them that right so i don't feel low energy for this week at all because for those of you who have watched november and probably the, the first um, uh, two weeks here for december you know that um, with the beaver moon on the 30th of november a new clarity is coming in that only really started kicking in on the 5th and then onwards. So we are in a month still where we have a lot of clarity, where things come to us and nobody can fool us, right? So you don't have to argue, just pace yourself right. That was the overall energy for the week. And now we're looking to the very first star sign, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, it's uh, like you have been, um, you feel like you're trapped, um, whether it's in the job that you don't want to be in or in a relationship that you don't want to be in. It's saying it's time for you to review and uh, elevate what what you want out of the situation there uh, it is pushing you in a new direction and um, you have to have a little bit of self-confidence because I do feel that sometimes you get a bit stuck and you don't know which way to go so just sort of um, embrace the feelings that you have and sort of uh, think what it is that you actually want and move forward um, with that okay thank you very much that was Sagittarius short and sweet I can never promise you short and sweet because my guides talk for England and Germany. So <laughs> it's just the way it is. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Let's have a look. Okay. And remember, for those of you uh, who have come to this channel quite a bit, you notice that sometimes we have overlapping energy, 
So some of the energy that is there for Sagittarius might be found in Capricorn and so on because we have an overlapping energy uh, in the star signs because we have an overall energy for the week ahead. Now, uh, based on what you just heard, um, I also feel that for uh, Capricorn, this is more relationship related, um, more, than, more so than work related. But here's what the guides are saying. You have the parrot and the dog. What they're saying is, choose your words, right? This is what I'm getting, don't respond, because they're, they're pushing buttons here. <laughs> so don't respond to negativity, because the negativity will be brought to you deliberately, just to see what you do, which means there is no solution. Right? And also, I don't feel this as a heavy thing. It just feels like, you know, the energy seems to be this week so far, that um, there are sort of people out there who are quite frustrated. And uh, my feeling is to sort of take it out mm -hmm. <laughs> on, on, on you as a star sign. And you have to say like, no, I'm, I'm choosing my words, right? It's really important, which means, again, it goes hand in hand with your whole energy. The more you, you get irate about it, the more you get loud about it, the less you achieve. And here is why they're saying it, because we have the dog. And the dog is basically an animal that looks and seeks harmony, right? So the dog is a pack animal. And sometimes you will feel this week that you're a bit isolated, so you don't know where your pack is and where your tribe is. And all the guides are saying is, as long as you realize you are part of a tribe, you have good friends out there, and you also have good friends around you, namely your guides, you're not and never are alone. So if you realize that because it's the dog as a spirit guide that comes to your aid, um, it's just realizing you've got through to a lot through a lot of stuff and um, you're not alone in this, right? At least that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, short and sweet for Capricorn. The one thing I noticed before we go into Aquarius is that they that the guides were a bit vague. They weren't as forthcoming as they, they normally are, which is just their way of saying that there are also learning curves for you that they don't want to talk to you about, if that makes sense. Um, you just need to realize when people start pushing your buttons that you normally or normally that people what people have, they have a fixed response system. You know, if someone knows how to push your buttons, that's very likely you respond the same way all the time. And all the guides are saying is look at this and change it. Okay? That was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, I do feel that it's time for you to reflect. Um uh I know there's a lot of you out there that are quite spiritual, do, you know, mediumship and all that kind of thing. And the cards that have uh, come out are two major arcana cards. So I do feel that it's pushing you in the direction of um, looking to a more spiritual uh, time in life there and, and reflecting on what what's around you. Um, it's telling you to start doing some self-discovery, some meditation maybe. Um, do yoga classes or, or something of that nature but uh, I do feel that you need to do that to um, calm all the stress and the anxiety that's in your mind um, being quite spiritual is a lovely way to be it brings in a lot of reflection and you can see things a lot clearly um, and clearer so uh, I feel that's what you need to be doing um, Aquarius okay thank you very much and remember this is the week of the 14th of the 20th and Technically speaking, everything should be open again, right? Should the shit hit the fan, <laughs> right? Or whatever happens, you know, it's like whatever happens. Absolutely. Should things are not be open, when the guides give you that, then what they're saying is, you could still watch a video and mimic, bump about to it, or maybe find someone who does it live still, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because it is important to not retreat and do Absolutely. nothing yes. when the guides are saying to your star sign, no, you do this, right? Mm -hmm. So, energetically speaking, I'm not necessarily feeling that we will be closed down, no. if that makes sense, no. but, but we're that close to Christmas, right? The, the week ends on the 20th. Look, yeah. I got this one. <laughs> anyway, just a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> My sister sent me that from Germany, it arrived today, I was like, I'm going to bring this in. So, remember this please, if you feel like, okay, the message is to do self soul searching and self searching, um, don't despair if you don't know how to do it, right? Um, you could 
easily meditate in inverted brackets if you have never done this the most monotonous things you do will give you a good way in a lot of people have told me this over the years um you know they do the dishes yeah. still by hand and all of a sudden they get tons of messages and tons yeah. of ideas that's yeah. exactly how it works because you stop going away with the fairies because you're just doing monotonous stuff so what i'm saying is there's ways out there um uh, to 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 figure this out right so that was aquarius going into pisces my star sign and also the star sign of my beautiful girlfriend so let's have a look so I always listen intently to my own star sign and it is interesting that i say that because remember a lot of people just look for their star sign so they they, they skip everything and i always say that and i want to say it again do not skip the overall energy if you want to go to your star sign give it the first couple of minutes until we explore the overall energy because the overall energy of a week informs what your star sign is going through right mm -hmm. a lot of people do that i get that because obviously i put the name in and they go like yeah i'm just interested in pisces i get that I'm not knocking them but um a lot of people have said that to me um that once they realize what the overall energy is they have a much better way of dealing with the week and the overall energy always comes in the beginning Right, if that makes sense. Just saying it. So here is what we got for um, Pisceans. And that's interesting because I normally work with animal guides, but because there is a moon, a new moon to kick the week off, I'm using my moonology cards. <coughs> Slightly different energy. And let's just see what we got for Pisceans. Okay. Mm, love it. <laughs> it uh, I'll just tell you what, what the guide said, the, the guide, the, the card says, and then I'll tell, tell you what it means. We have a time to give rather than take. And what that means is that sometimes, you know, when you start giving, you are a bit more vulnerable mm -hmm. because you're not sure what's happening. And what I'm getting for us Pisceans, um, unfortunately, we, we're overly um, uh, deep. <laughs> very yeah, you know pisces. so you know typical pisces and you know so what the guides are saying to us is this is a week where it is important that your energy your love shines towards the people and the situations that are important to you and then we have a new romantic cycle begins that doesn't mean my girlfriend is leaving me now and buggers off <laughs> <laughs> it, it just means that in my case well this is how i how i feel it for anyone out there um it means that whatever Whatever situation you're in, because it doesn't have to be just relationships. You could also go in towards something where you feel like, well, I'm manifesting um, a new beginning, right? And and I know I'm going to love it. It changes everything. And then when the guides are saying a new rom romantic cycle begins, it basically means for, for this scenario, even though romance is the wrong word for a love relationship, but sometimes when you're in love with what you do, um, it goes a long way, if that makes sense. Having said all that, I do feel that the guides make this much more about relationships, right? Um, and I don't want to be excluding because mm -hmm. there's lo loads of Pisces who are very good looking, all of our star signs, <laughs> just messing, but right? And they're not in a relationship yet. And all the guides are saying is this is important because how the universe works is whoever needs to see this finds it. So if you're a person that is not in a relationship, then remember that love is the highest mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And if you manifest something that you really aspire to or like, you create it with love. So it is not just about relationship, but for all us Pisceans who are fortunate enough um, to have someone who loves us and that we can love, um, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> right? So, yay, here we go. You should have read, you should have read Pisces, it sounds like I'm setting it up here, but it is what it is, right? So yeah. that was Pisces going into Aries now, and remember we're looking at the week of December the 14th to the 20th. Um, again, for um, Aries, is it Aries? Aries, yeah. yes, Aries. Um, Aries again, it's uh, about finding a more spiritual and emotional, um, oh, what am I trying to say, um, desire, it's, it's like a desire to move on. That's okay, it's just um, sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, you can you, you you well you can't answer it, but you can switch it off if you want. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, it's all good. Remember, this it's is what happens. Easy. This is what happens when we record live. All the videos where phone calls came through. Right? This is sorry just about, a, still right, it's just the guys having a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? So we're still with Aries? Yeah, so a, a desire to move on, um and again spiritual meaning to this. Um Okay. It's telling you not to give up. It's like the, you, 
it's almost like you've hit a brick wall and you don't know which way to move there but it's telling you not to give up it's saying to have the courage to move on to, to break through the barriers that's there in front of you um okay it's about believing in yourself as well sometimes we beat ourselves up because we think we're not good enough um whether it's for people around us or, or in all sort of areas of life there but it's saying you know you are good enough you need to believe yourself and, and move on move forward um because there is something else out there for you and i do feel again that this is to do with new relationship coming in yeah it's also interesting because lately because we've been pre-recording quite a few uh, of weeks that we normally don't do normally we sort of record week to week but because of all the lockdowns downs i was basically saying to people if you have the time let's let's record up front yeah, yeah, kind of thing yeah, yeah, right. and also since we're recording this in late november i can do whatever i want in december because we got it <laughs> right so but and it's also saying don't give up as well yeah. don't give up pursue yeah. what you want yeah. but it is important to realize for those people who have watched this before and followed the progression um that this is the time where the guides are saying is ask for a fulfilled relationship claim it mm -hmm. right um but it's, there's always the energy of realizing people have to serve you first right that makes that makes sense people mm -hmm. have to serve you first at the same time <clears throat> if you're waiting for someone who deserves you first it doesn't work so ask for a relationship ask for being fulfilled because the problem that we're also having is that a lot of people love christmas and a lot of people are weary of christmas because to them that is the epitome of being lonely absolutely right? yeah and yeah. so this not giving up also means you know remember you create your energy right which is important mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. even if you are alone you can have one of those and just <laughs> you know crack up every now and then it's important to just create that right Absolutely, so yeah. remember oftentimes because things aren't ready or you go towards something it is what it is and the way your energy is is what you attract so the higher your energy the better this is right mm -hmm. so that was aries going into taurus let's have a look okay taurus taurians interesting you have the deer and the gull what they're saying to you is is conflicting but then <laughs> no offense to taurians you have a, a conflicting nature oftentimes you you are very passionate about things and you fight through things even if they're not worth it sometimes you know taurians mm -hmm. can be yeah. in a way self-destructing at, yeah. at times and that's why this feels conflicting conflicting but it is conflicting because the guys are saying to you is focus on how conflicted you actually are because you have the deer what they're saying to you is this week remember the overall energy was about new beginnings but they also said to pace yourself right that was the overall energy for this week now we're in the star sign of taurus and for taurians they're saying to you it's really important to absolutely make sure that you're not stressed because you have the deer the deer only functions at sunrise and sunset you know you you spook a deer anytime they just bolt so the more people want something from you especially now going towards christmas where uh it's it seems to be oftentimes to real to take charge of everything mm -hmm. right i'm gonna do all this which means people get used to it so they want that you do things all the time if that makes sense this is what the guys are saying to you this week pace yourself right don't allow people to stress you. And what I'm getting as well is when people ask you 10 times to do something, get the fuck off. <laughs> you know, because I mean it, you know, because you know what you have to do. You know what you're doing. You don't need someone to chase you because that is what drives you as a Turian. It's like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Just leave me alone and, and let yeah. me get on with it, right? Yeah. It's a very important trait. And here's why they're bringing this up in sort of that fashion, because you have the seagull. And the seagull basically tells you that you need to, this is the problem, when, when people chase you, you respond, right? And you respond sometimes nastily because you just have enough, have had enough, mm -hmm. right? And all they're saying is, think about what it does to you when you feel burdened and stressed out. The reason why you have the seagull, this is the, the message of the seagull. Here's the boat, goes 100 miles an hour, right? And here's the seagull thinking, will they actually drop the bread or not? <laughs> right so if there's bread dropping into the water any animal flying at high speed would break its own neck in the water 
right? So what the seagull does, she's looking at what is called the horizon line. And the horizon line tells her at all times how far away she is from the water. And then when you translate all this, it just means like you pay attention to how you truly feel. You're not going to have anything happen to you because you stop it before it affects you. But it's important this week, um, especially now they're doing this, which means we're going rapidly towards Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily about the, the Christmas day or the festivity. This is about the energy that we're having. Uh, somehow everybody seems to be stressed around Christmas. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit weird, but, <laughs> but, you know, but everybody is, is a bit stressed. And, and, and because, you know, Taurians are, are deep, you can pick up on it. And all the guides are saying is, no, pace yourself. Don't take on other people's energy, right? And make sure that when people push you somewhere where you don't want to be, to tell them. You don't have to say it the way I say it, you know, be a bit more kind. <laughs> but, but say it, really important. But first and foremost, pay attention this week, Taurians to how you truly feel and be honest in your responses towards it because unless you create boundaries people will keep coming and they're not bad people they're just opportunists i always say that to people if you cook for me five times a week i let you why wouldn't i mm -hmm. and sometimes people don't know that they're asking you too much so that's what i'm getting for Tereans going into the star signs of gemini oh, yeah. Um, we've got the moon there, but the moon is saying that uh, there's in uh, again on the spiritual uh, planes here. It's uh, more psychic insight events um, going on behind the scenes. It's like getting downloads, psychic downloads, um, but sort of trusting yourself because sometimes you don't trust yourself. You don't trust the feelings that you get. Um, so it's about and you, you're holding yourself back as well. Um, We've got the six of fire here, and this is victory. Uh, good news is on its way, so it's like public recognition and um, words getting around about what you've done, where you've been, what you're doing there. So um, just keep pushing forward. Um, I'm a Gemini, so this oh. might do me loads of Yeah, I'm good, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so it's uh, just keep moving forward, yeah. absolutely. And as you notice, what has been, I always say to people, pay a little bit of attention um, to what has been said to many star signs so should you be one of those people who say like no i'm going to watch the whole thing because i have all these other star signs in my life that would never watch that <laughs> or you kind of want to, want to give them heads up it yeah. actually makes sense because if you paid attention to what has been said so far the 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 terminology always was look at your spirituality right do something with your spirituality mm -hmm. you know be spiritual because you know that's so in other words it's coming where the guides are saying to you, it's it's that time of year where the sort of the veil between things are is thinner, if that makes yeah. sense. Um, so allow yourself to to be more spiritual because once you work with your guides, for instance, and you can hear them, your life changes dramatically for the, for the better. Yeah. So don't be afraid uh, of embracing this because that has been in the energy for different star signs, which means that energy of having support, spiritual support, is massive. So mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Right? Don't be in your own way. Don't be your own worst uh, enemy because Gemini energy, sometimes you can get it totally and you're still doing different things. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? yeah, and so yeah, yeah. <coughs> what Gemini is, is, is to remember, don't sabotage yourself. Absolutely, okay? Yeah. That was that. Going into Cancerians, I'm drawn to a different deck. And remember, we're looking at the week of um, December the 14th to the 20th. Um, please subscribe. To the channel um, you see the Facebook page please like the page so you're always up to date with what we're doing really really important and first and foremost first and foremost share it because that's the idea it's a free service it's all our time we're not asking for anything but we want this to be shared so that more people get messages so please 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 be on the ball and do that for us right and now we're going into Cancerians what I remember from the last couple of weeks or let's just put it this way, November was really not a great time for Cancerians. Uh, but November wasn't a great time for many of us because that was the month where we were being asked to look at our trauma. Mm -hmm. This month is different because we're having a bit of clarity. That doesn't mean all the trauma is gone, it just means that we have much more, we're much more aware. And what they're saying to 
Cancerians, you have made so much progress because you have the grey wolf, right? Which is a pack animal that is absolutely in charge of its pack, which means you are absolutely bang on um, in charge of your life and you realize it. You know about all your strengths. And again, this is sort of the word of just like you had with Gemini now, where you're being reminded not to be in your way, you have the red fox. The fox is telling you you're an old soul, you have been through you have been going through a lot of stuff and you always managed. But the red fox lives in the desert where you have less opportunities. So here's why this is again we have this contradicting thing. You have the grey wolf where the saying is you are in charge, now be in charge. Claim and claim and claim and claim. And if you think in the back of your head, oh, that might not work, that's what you manifest. You understand that? So don't be in your way. You know, you know Gene Simmons from Kiss? He always says, if you dream, dream big, serve them well. <laughs> that's all, that's all what I'm getting for Cancerians. Not to go into any doubt, you got this. Okay? Really, really important. That was Cancerians going into the star signs of Leo. Oh, Okay. Good. They want to be read. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Um, okay. Um, okay, this is about um, sometimes I, f I feel that you, um, Leo, can get in your own head a little bit there. Um, but over speaking with too much confidence, it's almost like the ego comes in and sort of um, you know everything. With the greatest respect there, you know this, you know that, you know the other, but you don't listen to what people are telling you. So I do feel that you need to stand back a little bit and listen to what, what people are saying to you there. Um, it's great having all the confidence to do what you want to do, and that's absolutely brilliant, but you need to bring some mental balance in and listen to other people's side of the story. Um, that makes sense to you there. Um, but it's about sort of giving a little bit more. It's, it's not about take, take, take. You have to give a little bit more. Okay, and I'm sorry it sounds a but that's what that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. And always, you know, what I always know is, and I always say that, you know, because my my downside is that lots of people tell me that obviously I'm I'm just a loud guy, and so when, <laughs> and so when my guides say something, it always sounds very like, pushy. Yeah. But the guides are here to help. Absolutely. And if yeah. they're saying to you is, you know, your overconfidence mm -hmm. will actually not get you anywhere because people think you're just cocky. Yeah. So it is important sometimes to listen. Even if you not necessarily have to go and um, and do something with it, it makes sense to stop every now and then. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, so yeah. please please pay attention to that. Really, really important. That was Leo's, uh, and we have Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio left. Uh, only three star signs, and now we're going into Virgo. And I'm drawn again to the uh, the Moon deck, so to speak. And my feeling is every time I'm drawn to it because I only used it because we have a new moon. So, before we go into the meaning of any of this, remember this is about new beginnings and therefore it might just be about closing doors before you open others. But now we're having a look. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense because you have what is called confidence is your key to success. It's a great phrase, would also make a good song, <laughs> but you know, really would. But what the guides are saying is it's time for you to believe in yourself, right? Self-belief is not ego. Right? It is a different thing to say, like, I can do anything. That's bollocks, you know, <laughs> poppycock and balderdash, <laughs> right? So, <clears throat> but you're not like this. You're not going out there and think like, yeah, I'm, I'm the best. <laughs> but sometimes you doubt yourself. And what the guides are saying is because confidence is your key to success. That's what they ask you to do. Be confident and people will listen to, to how you communicate to others and like I said, you know, confidence is really important this week for, for Virgos. <coughs> and then that's the other important thing, because here you have, you're very close to achieving your goal, which means if you are now saying, OK, I push myself to believe that I can actually do that, you will achieve it, which is important because sometimes self-doubt stops whatever you're doing, because if you're not ready, it cannot be given to you. Mm -hmm. right? Really, really important. That was sort of short and sweet <laughs> for Virgo. <laughs> Going into Libra, our second last star sign for the week. And we're looking at the week of December the 14th to the 20th. And we're nearly at Christmas. Awesome. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, Libra, there's, you've got a decision to make. Um, okay, but you need to have a sensible approach to it. Sometimes I feel that you can get a bit uppity and just sort of like cut your nose off to spite your face, let's say. Um, you've got a few challenges coming up and you, you really need to make time with people around you and, and discuss what's going on there. Um, okay, I know I know this is quite uh, complex here because my... my my husband's just lost, we've just lost his mother, you mm -hmm. see, so decisions and what have you to be made there. Um, but I feel that you need to stop beating yourself up as well. Um, you know, make the decision and just go for it. It's as simple as that really. It's no uh, messing about, no procrastination or anything. Make your decision and just go forward with it. Um, yeah, and just do that. Okay, dokie, thank you very much. That was Virgo going into the last star sign of the week, which is Libra. And it would be nice if my guest did the last star sign, didn't it? So, if you could please do Libra, <laughs> last star I've sign. I've just done Libra. I mean, I mean Scorpio, Scorpio, sorry. Don't mind me. Last star sign of the week, Scorpio, Scorpio, right? <laughs> so, if you could do it for okay. me, that would be awesome. <laughs> because my, my... Oops. My, okay, Scorpio. My slow this... <coughs> Um, starting again okay scorpio we have the wheel and the eye priestess so this is about completion uh, completing things completing situations around you uh, needing the time and making the time to move forward um it's only that fortune's on your side so i do see um again your intuition listen to your intuition but uh, also have a little bit of patience with it you know, sometimes we might get things and we might, oh, that's a load of rubbish and sort of push it away. Um, but you need to listen, reflect on yourself before taking any action and um, positive change is coming up for you. Okay, awesome. Kim, thank you so much. You're welcome. That was awesome. Thank you. And I see you all very soon. And remember, share, 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 share. Bye-bye. <laughs>